Dear colleagues, this is FECO emulsification of a soft cataract. In this case, I had posterior capsular rent during polishing of the posterior capsule. I was able to convert the rent into a posterior continuous curvilinear capsular axis and I could place an eye well in the capsular bag. No vitectomy was required in this case. Let us observe what happened. By this time, all the incisions have been made and now capsular axis is being done with the help of a uterata forceps. One must tend the anterior leaf of the main incision to prevent leakage of viscoelastic substance. This is an adequate sized rexis rather a rexis of more than adequate size. I want to employ my lens tilt technique in this case. So by hydrodissection I could see that on equator has prolapsed out of the capsular bag. I dial the cataract cataractus lens in such a way that the prolapsed part is near 5 o'clock. Now I introduce the tip of the FACO handpiece and I make three cuts. This is one, two and three. And by these three cuts this part of the nucleus comes out. Now the rest part is worked on. This is a soft cataract and in no time the nucleus was managed. That's it. The nucleus is managed. Now little bit of cortical lens matter is there. I am injecting little bit of SPMC and I am going to remove this cortical matter with this instrument, a Simco cannula. Now I remove this part and now I start polishing of the posterior capsule and yes the PC rent has already occurred. I saw a little few seconds later. However, there is no vitreous prolapse into the anterior chamber. So what I do is I inject viscoelastic substance. Now I have asked for the uterata forceps again and I can see that I will be able to convert this PCR, PC rent into a posterior rexis, posterior round rexis. I will hold this tag, go clockwise. If I go clockwise then only it will tear. Now I hold it here and pull towards the center and thus I could do a beautiful PCCC posterior continuous curvilinear capsular axis and if the posterior axis is of this size it is very easy to place an intraocular lens in the capsular bag here it is the leading haptic goes between the posterior capsule and the anterior capsular rim and I introduce a Sinsky hook through the right side port, dial the lens and place the trailing haptic in the capsular bag. 
dial the lens again and place the haptics in horizontal meridian and now I have to remove the viscoelastic substance there is no vitreous in the anterior chamber so I don't need to do vitrectomy in this case and now I am removing the viscoelastic substance thoroughly I don't go behind the intraocular lens at this stage. I just remove thoroughly the intraocular and in the viscoelastic substance in the anterior chamber and from the angle of the anterior chamber all around. But I feel bad that some viscoelastic substance is there in the Burgess space behind the eye well. I want to remove that. How to do? I did that after hydrating the side ports. This is moxifloxacin. The side ports are hydrated. And now I have thought of doing a dry aspiration of the viscoelastic substance from behind the lens. So I stop the irrigation of the Simco cannula, go behind the IOL and just aspirate. And the viscoelastic substance came out. Now I am happy. There is no viscoelastic substance. I did dry aspiration that that is without irrigation I aspirated only the viscoelastic substance and form the anterior chamber and conclude the case hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills thank you very much for your attention